EA Sports, and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the Sonoran Desert and always entertaining TPC Scottsdale, it's live second round coverage of the WM Phoenix Open. It is known as the greatest show on grass, and it has lived up to that moniker through the first couple of rounds as we take a look at the Friday leaderboard. Your leader is Roger Sloan. He's currently at 13 under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, no lock to play the weekend, hovering a few shots inside the cut line, entering play. So from the left rough, his second at the first. Could have just done with a little bit more for breakfast, just a little short. Uh, maybe I'm being harsh. It was a good shot. This a little under 10 feet for Birdie. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a Birdie here at one. And after the 62 yesterday, he'll move to one under for his round. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Breeze at his back shoulder as he lines up his second from the fairway. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Yes, can't ask for a better start to a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two. And he's into double figures now at 10 under par, two under on his round. PGA Tour moves back to California next week. We'll be at Hogan's Alley in Riviera Country Club just west of Los Angeles for the Genesis Invitational. Frank, we go from hysteria to history. Oh, you do, yeah. Humphrey Bogart's tree on the left side of the 12th hole um, is still there, and it's still a feature. A huge sycamore tree there that kicks the odd ball away from the green. Uh, it's good. The whole golf course is in a, in, a, in a sort of a bowl, so you get these swirling winds. I know they've tried to uh, renovate the golf course over the last few years. It's actually made the fairways a little wider, but another straight-up test. I mean, the West Coast swing, you really have to bring your game. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. Yeah, you can't do much better than that. That could run forever if you don't get the right speed. That's a nice job. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. And he'll move to three under here. Just one shot off the lead. Okay, good shot and a putt for birdie here at number four. This is an 11 foot putt. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. 
and he's going to remain one shot off the pace. Yeah, good swing and a good result as that is safely into the fairway. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. The fifth always plays one of the most difficult holes at TPC Scottsdale, so finding the fairway gives you the green light to go ahead and try and make a three. And that not quite gonna hold the green, but that'll be okay. Speed was spot on, a good putt, but nothing to show for it. That one finished off. Here it is apart here at five. And he'll remain one shot back. This round's been a clinic so far, and that's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Well, 122 left to the flag. Pin in the middle, so it's a green light. Oh, it was a good strike. I could tell that by the uh, sound as the ball came off the club face. That little bounce and check. Well done. Let's see if he can knock this in. It's for birdie. Okay, well done there. It's a birdie here at the sixth. And he'll move to 13 under par for the tournament. Okay, you can see what he was trying to do right there. Maneuver that ball left to right. Just overcooked it a little bit. Second shot now here at the par three. Right about nine feet here to the hole. Frank, that is painful. And all you gotta do, just hit it, just hit it. That one in, it is a bogey here at the seventh. And he'll drop out of the lead and wind up a shot back. Choose there. Good tee shot in the short grass. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Oh, this could be good. Now there's a good strike in there. Just a little left of the hole, but inside 10 feet. It's about 50-50 chance on the PGA Tour of making a birdie. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And he will definitely not say no to that.
Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Fairway at the ninth, one of the widest on the golf course, so ball easily finds the fairway, now can take dead aim at this whole location to this narrow green. Ah, it's a good shot, but it does leave that little uphill putt, so that one will be slow. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that is going to go in the books as a 30 on the front side, 500 par. That's going to be into the rough right behind the big stadium structure at 16. So a poor tee shot at 10, now his second. Oh, that hit the flagstick. There's no way that ball was going to be that close to the hole, but hits the flagstick, and now an excellent chance. Well done there. It's a birdie to kick off the back nine. And he's opened up a two-shot lead here in round two. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Great tee shot here at the 11th. Now has a chance to go at the whole location on the left half of the green, but have to be concerned about the water that wraps around the backside. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. A little short, a little left, but inside 10 feet, so even I can't really criticize that. Now this for another birdie. Okay, that ball on line all the way. It's a birdie here at 11. And he draws three shots clear on this Friday. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Clean lie here for his second to the par three. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. That was a really nice shot. So he'll finish that off for his par as he'll stay at seven under. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Two shots around this green is always good. Now, for a little CVS, perhaps a third shot on this par five, get one close, maybe make four. Mm. 
This is a 13-footer. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he's going to hold on to that three-shot lead. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. And he's set up for his second shot here looking to knock it on the green. Now it's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the halt. Chance now for another birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Yeah, just needed a little bit more, but he couldn't quite get it there. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And this will remain a three-shot lead. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Not much to this one. It's for birdie. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And he's now the leader by four here on this Friday. Good chance at one. Yep, pretty safe there. That won't get this crowd into a frenzy, but it is safely on deck. And got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll maintain that four-shot lead. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Nicely done, 
finished off here at 17. And he has now moved five clear of the field here in round two. So, Iona, this is second from the fairway. 134 yards left to the flag stick today. Pinned on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a redraw. Obviously, that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Yeah, that's a good par. It is in for his par here at 18. And this is going to be a second-round score of 62. That's some lights out playing. Well, that about wraps it up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Navalo. Really enjoyed it, Frank. Yeah, it's been a good day out here. Once again, we've seen the golf course give more than it takes. For Frank Nabilo, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.